Welcome to Grateful Bingo. Tonight you can play free bingo online with me, Pit Pals TV host, Patty Spittler. Special guest includes an appearance by singer Mark McGrath. Poppy and I thank you very, very much. Thank you for the love you've shown for dogs and animals. And you truly have such a wonderful heart and wonderful spirit. And Cheryl Mathis, founder of the dating app, Fetch a Date. Tonight, we're raising money to keep abandoned pairs of dogs and cats together. Money raised helps us find those special homes where bonded pairs can stay together. Go to GratefulBingo.com right now to get your free bingo card. You'll be able to watch and play on that website. Tonight, we'll be raising awareness for Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary, a 38-acre animal rescue under construction in Muncie, Indiana. Grateful already provides adoption, medical care, spay, neuter, and educational programs for unwanted animals. Again, go to GratefulBingo.com right now and get your free bingo card. We'll be giving away some gift baskets and more. Hello there, KJ. How are you? Hello, Patty. Well, I'm so excited to be spending Valentine's Day with you. <laughs> oh, here I'll give you my I'll give you my heart. Here's oh, my little. Stinky. Oh my gosh, you're that so is... stinking cute. All I have to give you is is my bingo balls. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> hey, uh, we're getting ready. Uh, we have a wonderful show this evening planned. And I, I, there's a lot to talk about, but you also know that in Indiana, the whole place, we're getting ready for snow. Are you ready? We are, yes. Well, we are. We're actually in the middle of, well, you can see Johnny Storm is ready for a snowstorm. He's white and <laughs> happy to be here. Um, yeah. Yes, we are. We've got a fire going. We are, we got plenty of, you know, groceries if we need to stay in, all the things. So <laughs> we're ready to be cozy and just let whatever happens outside happen. Okay. Well, here, we're ready here. Do you see what I have? Oh, you, oh, you've got plenty of toilet paper and wine <laughs> I, got some, <laughs> I got some tp and i got some wine so i'm ready you for, are to be well, a, hunker well, down well cheers patty my, you beat uh, me to it my lovely husband just just brought me some <laughs> wine to share with this uh this this wonderful evening with you <laughs> oh that's terrific well now we need to bring in our guest of honor on this valentine's day of course she's the the one who makes our world go round. And there she is, all in red for Valentine's Day, too. Pamela Terhune, the founder of the Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary. How are you this evening? Oh, oh did you hear it? I'm not Oh, here. no, I don't think your mic's working, Pamela. Oh, the mic's not working. Oh, we need Pamela. She is the actual heart of this whole thing. I know. <laughs> Well, you look lovely. Uh, hello to uh, Michelle, who is watching. Uh, we're going to get Pamela here with us. and uh, We'll it, tweak that. Yeah, so we'll take Because I have a hearing loss, I read lips really well, but we still need Pamela to have her mic turned on. <laughs> While we're waiting for that, maybe we should. Oh, here's, here is Cheryl Mathis. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Cheryl. Uh, yes. You and KJ are, are in tune with this, so give us a little rundown. I am. I am so excited that I was able to connect with Cheryl. She and I have been uh, at many luncheons and seen each other speak. And, and I had no idea that when I started looking for couples to join us on this grateful bingo night to celebrate couples who met through a pet, that Cheryl is actually the founder of a brand new app that is helping people meet through their pets. <laughs> Fetch a date. <laughs> Fetch a date. Tell us about Fetch a date. Yes. Hi. Thanks for having me on here. I'm so excited. We did just launch Fetch a date. And it's Fetch Match Date Pet Lovers. So perfect day to talk about this being Valentine's. We don't want any pet lovers to be lonely. We know you have your pet to cuddle with, but your pet wants you to be happy too and find love at the end of your leash and have a hand to hold on to as well. So we're here to help you bring, find a date, find love, start the year off right here on Valentine's and uh, you can make a free profile and fetch a date. A free profile. Wow. That's wonderful. Yeah. 
You know, I didn't do this myself. I you had can. please I do had to buy my own roses it. for Valentine's Day. So oh, I love the flowers. <laughs> Got those from your dogs. <laughs> but they must love dogs and cats. That's what I have. So gotta help okay. everything. While we're, while we're waiting for Pamela's mic to get on, uh, let's do. Oh, we have someone else here. Tell us about uh, Joanna, if you will. KJ. Yes, also joining us tonight. So Joanna's uh, significant other is watching the kids while Joanna is hanging out with Bart, their bird who introduced them 14 years ago. Wow. <laughs> and today is a special day for Bart. So Joanna, could you tell us uh, what, what type of bird he is and why today is such a big deal for Bart? Well, this is Bart. He is a Goffin's cockatoo. And uh, well, his hatch date was 14 years ago today. So wow. it's a big, I guess you'd call it the golden birthday. <laughs> It is Bart's golden birthday. I, I, you know what? I am not a singer, and I know that these things don't go well on on stream because none of us sync up. So, everybody, please uh, wish Bart a happy birthday in the comments because we are not about to torture you with any kind of <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, he's just beautiful. Now he is uh, birds, as I understand it. I've never had a well. No, I had a duck. I had a pet duck for one time named Quacker. I wasn't very original, but that's okay. Uh, and, but I know that they, don't they attach themselves to one person? Is he attached to you? Um, he goes to just about anybody. I mean, they have a certain person that they will do the most with, but right. he's been very well socialized with multiple people. So wow. He'll he'll go to just about anybody, especially with a special treat. <laughs> <laughs> and where are they from originally? The cockatoos. He's well, t uh, a lot of cockatoos come from Australia. However, he comes from the Indonesia area. Wow! But he's actually a Florida boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's absolutely beautiful too. And what's the longevity for him? How long will he be around he, with you? You'll get these guys to go upwards of fifty plus years. Wow. See, people need to know that when you get a pet, know about the breed, about the standard, uh, know what you're getting into. And this this bird can last a long time. And I do know what if they're separated from the person that they started out with, they can go through a lot of stress. So you're you're uh, connected to Bart for a long time to come. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple years. Okay. Huh. And uh, coming up a little bit later, while we're getting ready here, remember that you can get your bingo card at gratefulbingo.com. We're going to get started here in just a minute. Uh, and coming up later in the show, Joanna is going to tell us the adorable story about how Bart actually introduced her to the love of her life. Isn't that literally introduced her, right? Does, yes. Bart, talk? Does Bart talk? Literally. Literally. He literally. <laughs> Emma's back with no, us. Let's he, see if Pamela can talk. Only... Hi, can you hear me? We can hear you now, Pamela. Yay! Yay. I'm not judging <laughs> anything, man. It's weak, <laughs> but it's there. Now, look at that. Now that we have Pamela back, we'd like to uh, start a little bit here. We have Mark McGrath, uh, singing sensation star, and he did a little something for our Pamela. So let's turn it over to Mark McGrath. So Pamela, you're kind of a, just this beautiful soul. So I can only think of one thing on this Sugar Ray guitar to do, to do. That is to play you a song that went to a number one in 1997. And this was the video where our dog Austin, the bulldog, made their first appearance. So this is for you, Pamela, and all that you do. All around the world, statues crumble for me. Who knows how long I've loved you and Everywhere I go, people stop and they see 25 years old, my mother, God rest her soul I just wanna fly Put your arms around me, baby Put your arms around me, Pamela I just wanna fly, yeah All around the world, statues grumble for me only for eyes. Pamela Terhone, you are 
somebody special. Thank you for all that you do on behalf of the homeless animals, all that you do for dogs and the puppy mills and rehoming them, and most importantly, having such a wonderful spirit. Jason and everybody is so proud of you, Pamela. On behalf of Mark McGrath, my dog Poppy, sending you a ton of love. Take care. That's wonderful. Oh, thank God. you, Jason. <laughs> That's pretty special. Yes. That is a, that is quite a Valentine's message. You're welcome. Yeah. Let's play some bingo, shall we? Bingo. Yes. Let's play some bingo. Bingo. Mabel says play some bingo. All right, so as we begin uh, game one, uh, just a couple of things to remember. If you haven't got your card yet, gratefulbingo.com, head there. It's super easy to play. Uh, you can play three cards at the same time. Now that does take uh, you know, a, a, lot, a lot of concentration, but go for it. Three cards at the same time. Now, when you have a winning card, make sure that you hit the I have bingo button need to hit the I have bingo button. Otherwise, we don't know that you have bingo. The first person who hits that button is the person who gets the prize. So if there are multiple bingos, you want to make sure you're hitting that button fast. And then uh, finally, and uh, most importantly, the button that we hope you will hit at some point tonight is the donate button. Every dollar counts. And with so many homeless pets in need of a loving home this Valentine's Day, any little bit that you can share tonight to help Pamela and Grateful Rescue take care of the pets that they have and make sure that they get homes is going to help us. So those are the, the rules for tonight. And we are ready to play if you We're are. Ready to play. And Mabel says, let's roll those balls. <laughs> okay, yay, yay. All right. We are going to give the, the balls a roll here. And our first one up is 067 we're going to go down the uh the line here and joanna if you would repeat after me 067 067 all right at some point uh if bart wants to chime in he's welcome to as well <laughs> uh, next uh cheryl it's n41 n41 ah have, has anyone here uh called bingo before no. <laughs> Is this your first time? Cheryl, have you called bingo before? It's, it's my first time to call bingo, but I actually worked in a bingo hall selling wow. games while they were calling bingo. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Oh, 63. Oh, so 63. Ooh, good year. 63. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, cheers, Cheryl. Happy cheers. Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, it is G53. G53. All right. We got the ball spinning. I got my Siamese kitty right back here. Uh, she's doing quality control. And it is I18. I18. All right. And coming up next, 061. Oh, 61. All right. I want to thank uh, uh, producer Patches here for uh, producing the bingo board for me. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I-26. Oh, it's my age. I-26. <laughs> I-26. Oh, and we've got N-32. N-32. Is that your age, Pamela? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and remember, oh, let me see, you've got a troll. Oh, oh, perfect. I have a bunch of them. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's Valentine troll. Oh, I, know, oh, I saved, I, I collected them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, Do you that. Remember when people would put those out when they're playing bingo? Yes. Yes. Get a little, little tiny one. <laughs> a little baby. <laughs> there you go. The, having the trolls makes this feel like we're actually in a bingo hall. We just. Right. We need a way to incorporate daubers, and then we're <laughs> on bingo hall here. Uh, M34 is our next number. N34. 
And remember, we want you to hit that bingo button if you have bingo. And let's see, Katie <laughs> says, oh, my God, I used to have a ton of trolls. <laughs> <laughs> of trolls are, I remember playing skee ball, and I you could win a troll. That was at Indian Lake, Ohio, and you could win it. I got trolls. <laughs> I don't know, now I got to go find them. I got to go to my base and find those trolls. Yeah. I didn't even think about that, Pamela. But I have a I have a tr a troll puppet that wow. I used to take with me to play bingo with my grandma. It's still around here somewhere. So I got you beat. I dated a troll once. <laughs> I got rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next number up is B7. Ooh, B7, lucky seven. Yes, and speaking of not dating trolls, where can people go <laughs> to find uh, their wonderful match in the pet loving world, Cheryl? Yeah, head over to Fetch a Date. We're in the App Store, Google Play, so it doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or Android. Head over where there are no trolls allowed, <laughs> but you can have any kind of pet. <laughs> That's a great idea. It is amazing. And 43. N. N. 43. All right. And we got two buttons we want you to remember that I have bingo button, which is very important to hit as soon as you have bingo, and that donate button, which is very nice for you to hit at some point tonight. Uh, next button. up, N. 40. N. 40. All right. I am. I'm so bad at this. Like I wouldn't. I just. I shouldn't. I'll never be a weather person because I don't know how to point <laughs> this right. <laughs> G fifty nine. It's G fifty nine. Joanna Bart is so good. Does he just on your shoulder all the time? Aww. Oh, oh look at that! It's, especially for head scratches. <laughs> uh, next up, B four. Ooh, B four. Yes. Oh, wow. Nice even number. Oh, we well, we're gonna be close here. We gotta yeah, be. Yeah, we should be getting yeah. close. And uh, well, we're we're sticking with the fours this time. It's N forty four. N forty four. Close to my age, forty-four. <laughs> Lots of different ages, Patty. <laughs> yeah. You're twenty-six, forty-four. All right, B fourteen. All righty, Katie Hornsby is the winner of Bingo this game. Yay! Katie is one of the founding members of KJ's Cat Club. So she oh. has two wonderful cats. She is a huge supporter of uh, rescue and and such a great cat mom. And I'm so excited you won. Oh, Jason, <laughs> That's we'll have wonderful. to give her a cat gift. A cat How about this one? Oh, oh. 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 tell us what this is. What is that? It's the cat and mouse. Um, a cat with a mouse. I love it. You like it? <laughs> There you go. Frame to put on her wall. Aww. Congratulations. Aww. That and is. Now I'm going to go take care of my kitty, my new kitty. By the way, KJ, you'll be very pleased to know that he's doing real well. This morning, he and Stewie uh, kissed rather than they have Aww. even pop him. He just they kissed on noses. So everything. Oh, good. My nine year old rescue kitty. He's doing. He's doing great. That so, is so great. You girls have fun. Take thank care you for balls, being here, okay? Patty. Thank Bye. you so much. All right. Well, before we get to our, our next game, uh, I need to see that puppy close up on camera there, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gigi. Gigi. Oh, right there, Gigi. Oh, Gigi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, tell us about Gigi. Uh, she's a dachshund. She's about 12 weeks old. And I've been a big greyhound rescuer myself. And then we have a mutt that we got from the Humane Society. But my daughter's been wanting a dachshund for a few years. And so with COVID and all, you know, we figured we'd be like everybody else and get ourselves another pet. And so she just got Gigi. Oh, <laughs> she is absolutely adorable. Oh, thank yeah. you for, well, tell her thank you for sharing Gigi with us tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And play bingo. So she's here for the, we'll see how she stays at home. 
I love it. So uh, with Fetch a Date, uh, there are some unique things about this app, Cheryl, that I was uh, hoping you could share because I think it's it's such a great icebreaker the way that you allow people to introduce themselves. Well, completely. And our pets really are the icebreaker for ourselves. And who else is better at it than our own pets? And then Fetch a Date, whether it's your real pet or a virtual pet, you can uh, sign up for free with your phone number, and then you upload a photo of yourself, a photo of your pet, if you have one, any kind of pet too. Uh, and then if you don't have one, we have several of them for you to choose from, like a virtual horse, a fish, a turtle. Um, so you know that way your pet can make the introduction for you because who can resist swiping right on a pet they're much more likely to help find you a date. So your pet gets to virtually in a really actually make you make you the introduction. I love that. And like I said, it's just so nice to be able to know that if you are going to a site and immediately the, the, everyone that is there wants to connect because they have this similar love of pets. Completely. You know 100% that anybody there, whether they have a pet at the time or not, but that they're a pet lover. And, and do they bring their pets when they meet in person? Do they bring them along or no? They certainly can. But um, what's great about online dating right now is it's actually really on the rise because people love to meet more virtually even. But, you know, we can do that through the cameras like we are now, right? You can still introduce them to your pets. Right. Uh, it's a safer way to meet, you know, for everyone involved. But, yeah, a lot of times people do. They include the pets on their date. I think that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get to uh, game number two. And so I want everybody to uh, to be ready here. If you've got three cards, keep up with us. Uh, Cheryl and, and Joanna are going to help us with calling uh, as well. And uh, Pamela, I love the red that you're wearing tonight. We're all in our like pink and red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Going to spirit. All right. Patches has uh, made sure that the balls are completely mixed up and we are ready to go with game number two. All right. Our first number up is I-19. That's I-19. All right, and next up is N35. N35. My age I'm holding. Someone's going to be laughing. <laughs> Gigi seems like a pretty relaxed little puppy. She is. Good. She's already learned how to sit and do a down and come, and she's learned her name, but she likes to tea right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, it's 074. 074. All right. Pamela, where are your uh, all your, your uh, pets tonight? They're in my office. They're all curled up, laying around. Today I was a little puny. I got my second shot today, but, and uh, I was in bed all day, and I had little bodies all over me. Little Pixie was right here. Oh, they're so good. Aww. Well, I'm so glad that they uh, that they were comforting you today, and I get not wanting to get out of bed, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> all right. G50 is our next number. G50. G50. <laughs> And G60 is our next oh, number. GG, we'll say that one. G60. <laughs> I was so hoping we get a G for GG. <laughs> uh, Bob Bloom, welcome to Fetch a Date. He said he just signed up. Oh, yay. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Exciting. Yes. Uh, our next number is I22. I22. All right. And remember, you want to hit that donate button at some point if you want to uh, you know, give a little love this Valentine's Day. And the bingo button as soon as you have bingo. G47. G47. All right. And next up, it's O65. O65. And Pamela, our next number, we got another O, O72. O72. 
Uh, and we are uh, tonight raising money specifically uh, to help the bonded pets that need adopted. So oftentimes when pets come into the shelter, they may be um, cats who've been together their entire lives or dogs that have been together. And it's just a better um, situation for them to stay together. And sometimes that can be a little bit harder mm -hmm. for um, the shelters to find someone who's willing to take two pets. But uh, we are uh, hoping tonight that you can uh, help us by raising some money and helping Pamela and Grateful Rescue and all of the uh, bonded pets out there that that need a little extra love and need that home that they're going to be able to spend together for the rest of their life. Uh, next number is N40. Oh, N40. I don't know. I think it was me, N40. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've had two sips of wine already. I've lost track. I18. <laughs> okay, there we go. I18. All right. Legal. That's yes. the age you need to be to play or to sign up on Fetch a Date. Oh, I 18. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. 18 and above. <laughs> and next up is I 20. I 20. All right. Uh, G 49. G49. G49. All right. <laughs> um, I feel like we're going to have somebody hitting that bingo button pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, on Valentine's Day, we're all hoping to be the one. Uh, oh, B1. Ooh, B1. That's so clever. I love it. Be the one. B1. This is my husband putting the thumbs down. <laughs> no, that could be the motto for next year. B1. Be the one. <laughs> I love that. Uh, B10 is our B10. next one. B10. All right. And G52. G52. All right. Bart is being very good. Coming up as soon as we have a winner, we're going to uh, share the love story of Joanna, Mark, and Bart. <laughs> oh, I can <laughs> hear that. G59. G59. G, another G, G. Yes, G. Ooh. G, she loves the Gs. Yes, she does. Maybe we're going to get a bingo with that G, or we'll get a bingo with O69. Oh, <laughs> if Patty was here, she wouldn't be able to control herself. <laughs> I-28. I-28. All right. We got to be getting close. So remember, uh, hit that bingo button fast. If, you, if you've got bingo, 061. <laughs> we do have a winner. Uh, Christina Merritt of Columbus, Indiana is our winner Ooh, of nice. Bingo Yay. Game. Yay! Ooh. Congrats! Congratulations. So, Kimula, what does she win? Let's find a fun gift for her. What about, tell us about this gift. Oh, it's little rope toys and an I love you bandana and a squeaky octopus. I thought that that would be perfect for Valentine Bingo. <laughs> it is. I, the, I think they all have hearts on them. Aw, absolutely adorable. Uh, congratulations, uh, Christine. We'll get that out to you. And now uh, let's talk about a love star story that started with a bird, uh, Joanna, we had a chance to talk on Pet Pals TV. Would you share the uh, sort of the, the the shortened version of <laughs> how, how, how Bart became a matchmaker for you and changed your entire life? Well, 14 years ago, I, well, 14 and some months, uh, I walked into a bird shop and said no to birds and <laughs> The next day I came in with my money and put a deposit down on this cute little baby boy. 
And two weeks later, I started dating the manager. And 14 years later, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> There's the short version. That is, I it's, love it. It's so wonderful. So you went in because your mom wanted to get a bird, right? And you were like, no, 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 I'm not no. Not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark, Mark kind of knew what to do with with uh, little Bart, didn't he? He was very smart. <laughs> <laughs> bird for just a second that's all <laughs> and here we are 14 years later that for that, that just a second has lasted a few more seconds <laughs> oh my goodness and mark is with the kids tonight so tell us about the uh, the the human kids in your life <laughs> well we have two two kids nine and a six year old cornelius and bernice and who hopefully one day we'll be able to take over because these guys do live a long time. They'll be able to take over everything for us. <laughs> yeah, because you have, so not only did you walk into that store, get get Bart, find the love of your life, but you also now help run that store. Yes, Mark and I now own the store. 14 years later, we own it and have been running it for the past three years on our own. So the shop's been around for 26 years. Um, wow. So we do hand fed babies and raise them from itty bitties to till they're uh, fully weaned and ready to go home. And it gives us time to work with the new clients to make sure they know what they're getting into. <laughs> that is amazing. Where is your store located, Joanna? We're, we're in the Castleton area on the north side of the Castleton Mall on East 86th Street. Well, it is good to know that you're here because there people really do need to um, be educated. It's, mm. it, it, they are they are pets that certainly uh, give a lot of love and are wonderful to have, but you have to know how to take care of them properly. It, it's a long time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm usually magic. talking to people about cats or dogs and saying, you know, think about you know, ten to fifteen year commitment. It, right. Bart, 50 years. <laughs> 24 years. <laughs> Every minute of it. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, th we're so glad that you're here tonight and sharing your story about, about how you met through a pet and th to have Cheryl here where you can sign up with your pet and fetch a date and meet someone who loves a pet as well. Um, so I hope you're enjoying your Valentine's Day with us. And we're going to play another game. You Yay, guys ready? Yeah, another oh, game. Wow. All right. I can smell my uh, my husband's making chicken for us. We're going to have our Valentine's dinner as soon as oh. we get done here. Uh, we're kicking things off with N43. That's N43. Um, N43. Thank you. And I want to remind everyone um, with that donate button, if you donate, will you put something in the comments? And you don't even have to tell us how much you donated. If you don't want, just say, hey, I donated because I'd love to give you some shout outs if you guys are yes, helping please. us. Um, we'd, we'd love to thank you for that. Um, I do want to add that the uh, uh, the kind of nerdy network, everything that is raised tonight up to $100, we're going to match that. So um, thank you. My, yeah, well, we've got some really great people in our uh, in our network and the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Uh, we always say you can't be kind of nerdy without being kind. So oh, I love that. we thought tonight would be a good night to uh, to be kind. So if Absolutely. you've got if you've got you know ten dollars right now, it becomes twenty bucks. So make sure you're hitting that donate button at some point tonight. Our next number in game number three is N forty. N forty. And if you tuned in a little bit late, we had a nice song to kick things off. Uh, Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray joined us with a, a nice little song to Pamela. He has another special message. So Mark will be back here in just a little bit. Hang on tight with us while we go to I-29. That is I-29. Joanna, does your bird always sit on your shoulder or can you walk around the house? And oh, he can walk around and do whatever he wants. He's just, this is only his second Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This hangs right there. <laughs> he's he's going to thank every Zoom meeting that I'm in it. <laughs> oh, <why are> you <laughs> so good? Anytime Bart misses me, I'm happy to Zoom with him. <laughs> G53. <laughs> G53. Uh, B11. 
B11. And B6. B6. And I know, Cheryl, in addition to Gigi, you have some very uh, wonderful dogs of your own who we're not seeing on screen tonight, don't you? You are not. I have a greyhound. She's my third greyhound. They're amazing. I always tell people, like, you're the kitty correspondent, but I always say, if you want a cat but in a dog, get a greyhound. Because they just ah. let them curl up in a bed all day long. They're fantastic. They already come so well handled and everything. Um, easy to take care of, easy to groom. And then I have a, a Schnauzer Terrier mix. We got him from the Humane Society. Great mutt. Got him a few years ago. And he and Gigi love to wrestle, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's still being such a good girl. Mm -hmm. uh, our next number is 066. Oh, I don't know. I, was I don't remember. <laughs> I remember. I was 66. <laughs> I 17. I 17. Oh, wow. And remember to hit that bingo button as fast as you can. O 73. O 73. I got you. See, Amelia still sitting here. She's at some point, she's going to hit these. He's being a <laughs> She's being very well, very well restrained. Uh, Shelly J, thank you very much for the donation. We thank really, you, really appreciate it. Thank you, Rita. Thank, thank you. you. Rita. Uh, N35 is our next number. N35. N35. All right. And, oh, N36. N36. I always wanted a Siamese cat. Um, you know what, Cheryl, they are so wonderful. She was a rescue. Um, so I do encourage people. A lot of times people think with Siamese cats that you need to go to a breeder. and um, But there are a lot of rescues. Uh, and she is absolutely wonderful, but she's a lot of energy. Uh, they're super high energy. You got You know what? It, it, if you want a cat that's like a greyhound, you don't want a Siamese. <laughs> <laughs> She's a, she is a lot of work, but she is totally worth it. Uh, I-26 is our next number. That's I-26. Uh, and then we have Johnny Storm, who's going to be coming into the picture here. He's our other oh, Siamese. He's a flame point, and we adopted him from Grateful. Oh, great. Yes. O-70. Oh, O-70. Oh, Oh, there he is. Oh, hi, Johnny. He's getting oh, so beautiful. He's getting so big. <laughs> oh, he's grown. Oh, you've taken so good care of him. Well, we, um, we did a weigh-in this week, and I was so hoping he'd hit the eight-pound mark, and he was seven pounds, 15 and a half ounces. I was oh, like, <laughs> he's getting there. He's getting close. And I bet that somebody's getting close to bingo. It's 072. Oh, 72. All right. I-28. That's I-28. <laughs> Amanda Hepler of Indianapolis is the latest winner of Bingo. Oh, right. hi, yes, that is so great. Congratulations, Amanda. Pamela, tell her what she won. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, heart-shaped rope tug toys cool. for the doggies. Good for Aww. cleaning their teeth and strengthening their little mouths. My dogs love my, ro uh, my rope toys. <laughs> I think cats would probably like them too, you think? Um, yeah, there are actually, obviously, they're on the smaller level, but yeah, there are some, um, cats really like uh, kick toys, so some of those, like, some of those rope toys that are for dogs, you'll find that a cat will be like, yeah, I can really chew on this thing and kick it around, <laughs> too, so... <laughs> Um, we've got, you know, we've got a few of those around the house. I mean, we've got everything around the house, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got, uh, we're going to play, uh, one more game, but before we get to that, we have, uh, Mark McGrath back with us.
to share another special Valentine's Day message. And while he's doing that, if you don't mind, now is a good time to hit that donate button. Let's let it let's take it away. Hey, what is up, Pamela Turhoon? It's Mark McGrath from the band Sugar Ray. Yes, I know. Off the charts, but always in your hearts. And Pamela, I understand from Jason Heath that you are you're a pretty special lady. You're incredibly selfless, dedicated to saving animals, homeless animals. I understand you've rehomed dogs, pulled from puppy mills, and you make sure that the animals get loved and placed in forever homes. And I wanna say, Poppy, Poppy and I thank you very, very much. Thank you for the love you've shown for dogs and animals, and you truly have such a wonderful heart and wonderful spirit. So Poppy wants to give you a paw up, say a high five, and send you a ton of love. Pamela Terhoon, you are somebody special. Thank you for all that you do on behalf of the homeless animals, all that you do for dogs and the puppy mills and rehoming them, and most importantly, having such a wonderful spirit. Jason and everybody is so proud of you, Pamela. On behalf of Mark McGrath, and my dog Poppy, sending you a ton of love. Take care. That is so cool, Pamela. That is so he cool. He looks good, doesn't he? He does. He does. And I've, I've had the opportunity um, through my radio career to work several shows that Sugar Ray has played. He is that kind. That is real. Oh, um, it, I it, love it. Thank that, you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. She donated. I love all animals, but I think I favor cats overall. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It takes all of us to take care of the entire pet community from dogs to cats to birds like Bart. Yeah. Um, and I would love to, before we get to game four, um, share a really special message from Pamela. Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary is truly a labor of love for her. And I hadn't seen this message until uh, Book Nook. Uh, and it's just, <laughs> it's really powerful, Pamela. And I think on a, on a night when we're celebrating love that people need to see why you love what you do so much. Thank you. The dream of Grateful Rescue began the day I walked into the overcrowded, understaffed, and high stress shelter to adopt a dog. A dog, one dog a white Dalmatian lab mix they called Big Boy. But when I walked in, I couldn't believe what I saw. Dogs crated everywhere, in the hallways, in the laundry rooms, in the storage rooms, stacked on top of each other. The stench, the stress, the despair, it was all too much. As I passed each dog, they would sit pretty and straight, wagging their tails. But when I would walk on, they would erupt in fierce barking. It was as if they were screaming, please help me. It was heartbreaking. I had to get out of there, I couldn't bear it. But as I was leaving, I saw him, cowering in his cage, shaking and terrified. A small coon hound with droopy ears and the saddest eyes I'd ever seen. He wasn't making a peep, just trembling. My heart was breaking. I left the shelter with Big Boy, but I couldn't get that terrified little coon hound off my mind. I cried for him and all the others that night. I went back the next day and I adopted that little coon hound. I named him Samson because I wanted him to be strong. But that wasn't enough. What about all the others? There must be a better way, a less stressful way to keep these homeless animals. We began setting up a living space for dogs on our 22-acre property. We sectioned off different yards for group play, added a climate-controlled home with no cages, rooms, not cages. Then we began pulling dogs from shelters. In the fall of 2019, we purchased an additional 38 acres and made plans to house over a thousand animals, dogs, cats, and critters, we will make a difference in the way animals are kept. A place where the homeless can enjoy their lives as best they can while they wait for their forever families. No more shaking, no more fear. We are grateful. There we 
gets me every time. Every time, Pamela. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. I hear that story and I just remember that whole thing and the whole feeling of being in that place. And so, yeah, we're, that's, uh, we'll help those people. This, uh, we know that they do what they can with their, with their budgets and their overcrowding. Um, and this was an open admission shelter. So they were like horribly crowded, but, um, but we'll have room for several hundred dogs and cats, 500 to be exact at full fruition. And we will be able to let them run in and out as they please. They won't be spinning in their little cages. They'll have, um, 12 by 70 runs and, um, and they'll be happy and a happy dog gets adopted a lot quicker. And uh, so thank you for, for sharing that. Yeah, it, it's so true. I mean, a lot of times, it, it, even our, our Johnny Storm, um, you know, when you were when you were getting him, they told you that he was that he wasn't a very nice kitty, mm -hmm. you know, that he was mean. And it's like, you know, it's hard in these shelter conditions yeah. to truly, you know, they don't feel safe. So, of course, they're not happy to be there. Right. Um, so thank you for what you're doing. And we're so uh, grateful for you, Pamela. Um, we're going to play one more game. Angela, thank you for donating $10. Uh, Catherine, uh, your dog Quid donated. That's fantastic. A dog <laughs> thank <game>. you, <laughs> What a good dog. A good dog. <laughs> I love it. Uh, my kind of nerdy girls podcast and the kind of nerdy network still matching up to a hundred bucks. So if you can donate a little bit, uh, the donate button is right there. And so is the, I have bingo button and we're going to play one more game. Yay, one more game. Yay. Our special guest tonight, helping me uh, call out the numbers, Cheryl Mathis from Fetch a Date. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful app to fetch yourself a date, and it's free, so you can go sign up for that right now. And uh, also Joanna, who is Bart's mom, Bart the Bird, having a birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday, Yay! Bart. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's see if, if Bart's the, the lucky bird that helps me call out the winning number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our first number, Pamela, we'll start with you. It's B9. B9. All right, and next number, N39. N39. And when your story was playing, Pamela, uh, Gigi donated. My dog decided they could go. Oh, oh yes. Yay. 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 I think it's so incredible much. what you're doing, and more dogs need to be rescued, and cats, and all else, but you have may have there. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. G46 is our next number. G46. N36. N36. <laughs> Johnny Storm has, has decided that the balls are free game now. <laughs> N33. N33. I was wondering how long he would hold out. Yeah. He's been circling around back. No, I'm not. He said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, on game four, I'm taking the balls. <laughs> I 28. <laughs> I 28. I-28. Uh, O-73. O-73. G-54. G-54. Another G for Gigi. There we go. Oh, oh, 54. Anybody remember that back in the day? In the <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> I said once, many a moon ago, and we always heard that celebrities hung out there. So my sister and I, when when we went there, we decided that we were going to say that we were hand models. And then, uh, coincidentally, years later, I actually was a hand model. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, so you are lying. You were predicting. Yeah. <laughs> I twenty six. I twenty six. <laughs> 
I want to remind you on Sunday nights, we uh, second Sunday is bingo, but every other Sunday is book nook. We uh, have fabulous members of the community, celebrities mm. reading books. Uh, they're always nice, short, meaningful books about pets or life and love. And uh, so we'll be doing that again this time next week here uh, with uh, Grateful Rescue. We oh, are here 75. every week. Oops, sorry. Oh, 75. Yes, we are here every week. <laughs> and uh, you can actually see our, our book nooks on the YouTube page. So if you want to go back and uh, watch any of the book readings that we, we have, you can always go back and watch those again. B12. B12. What's your favorite book, KJ? Um, uh, my favorite book of all time would be the Harry Potter series. Oh. I'm, you know, I'm a nerd, Cheryl. I'm the kind of nerdy girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading a new series right now called Throne of Glass, and it is fantastic. Oh, wow. Um, and let's see. 064 is our next number. That's 064. And speaking of books, along with uh, being the founder of Fetch and Date, Cheryl, you have a best-selling book. Will you tell us Ooh, about it? Yeah, no. it's called Leashes and Lovers. So lots of stories in there of pet lovers, some good juicy ones, even ones from celebrities like Howard Stern, Rachel Ray, Cesar Milan. Yeah, so you can still get it on Amazon. That's such a cute picture. I love it. it I want to People have asked me if those are my legs, and I just said, you know, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to through those legs, but um, yeah. Oh, Cheryl, you always say yes. Yes, yes, they are. Yes. 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 B2 is our next number. B2. <laughs> All right. I23. I23. Uh, I see. Well, I'll have to grab Grayson at some point. He keeps walking through. He's my little <laughs> TV star. I-19. I-19. We have a winner. Yay! 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 Mackenzie King of Clayton, North Carolina is our latest Yay! winner. Oh, wow. North Carolina, I love it. <laughs> ah, look Thank at Barb you. celebrating. <laughs> what, about, what about this again? <laughs> Pamela, tell us about this. Oh, it's a it's a four by six frame where you put your best buddy in there. I love Aww. it. Aww. <laughs> that is really cute. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much for playing bingo with us. Uh, Joanna, I'm going to ask you to tell us uh, once again if uh, someone has been so moved by the charming Bart tonight <laughs> and is thinking about getting a bird. Uh, where Where is bird fever? Uh, how can we find you? We are in the Castleton area on the north side of the Castleton Mall. Uh, bird fever across the street from the Costco, if you know. He's like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Right. All of a sudden, he's like, no more camera time, Mom. Thank you so much for having us tonight. Oh, thank you, Joanna. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bart. <laughs> yes, thank we'll you. We'll be donating here in just a minute. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. you. Yes, you can still hit that donate button and uh, help us help out Grateful Rescue tonight. Cheryl Mathis, thank you so much for being here. Uh, for our pet lovers who are watching and looking for love, uh, can you tell us once again a uh, little bit about Fetch a Date and how to sign up? Yeah, and everybody's a winner tonight because you can make a free profile on Fetch Date. <laughs> and nice. so if, yeah, if you're looking for a date, you're looking for love, you want this year to be different, head over to the App Store or on Google Play, make your profile. It's really quick and easy, and your pet makes your introduction. So, you know, there's everybody's pet is sexy and approachable and lovable and cute right who would not swipe right on your pet so let your pet be your matchmaker in this case and uh, head on over there and make your own free profile and then we also we have a bingo game theme if you sign up on our newsletter i send you a bingo game format and we have on there like all kinds of things you can say 
on a first virtual date. Right. Oh. Some opening, yeah, some opening lines. So things that can work Very for nice. you. So, yeah, we kind of got a bingo thing. I thought it was funny when you asked me to do the bingo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AJ, yeah, so like, cool. We've got that too. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, signing up for the, the newsletter, do they go to the website for that? Yes, you go to the website, setchadate.com. And also from the website, you can click on, um, we have the app uh, little buttons there too. So you can get to the app even from the website. But yeah, the newsletter is there. And then that way you can find out like, you know, some opening lines to help you seem more smooth. Let your pet make the introduction and then uh, you'll have your opening lines and you're all set. We're ready. We're here to help you find love in the new year. I, brilliant. I love it. This is such a great idea. It. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thank you, uh, Carolyn, who said, well, I guess Dave yes. saved his allowance and Dave made a dog. Her, her little um, chihuahua. He's a therapy oh. dog and uh, we love Dave and we love Carolyn. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Carolyn. That's so Aww. great. I love how the, uh, wow. the dogs really seem to be donating tonight. <laughs> yes, yes. Very All right, Pamela, um, uh, just one more time and kind of talk about Grateful Rescue and, and what is going on with the shelter and just the best ways that we can help you right now and your mission to help pets. Well, this is it. This is it, KJ, just helping us with the animals until we get the big place um, started. And we'll have room for hundreds of dogs and hundreds of cats and, and even birds. And, and uh, it's, it's just going to be an amazing, wonderful experience for all involved. The animals, the people, it'll be like Disneyland for, for animals. And, um, and it's kind of like a park. We have, it's not just uh, the cats and the dogs and, and the other animals. It's also, we have a restaurant and um, and different little things. Uh, um, we'll have a veterinarian on site, of course, and a grooming and lots of stuff. And we're getting ready to break ground. We're so excited. We're getting ready to start putting the pipes and, and moving the dirt around and building the big pond. I, I'm just walking on air these days. Well, and I am imagining, Pamela, as we have talked about the plans that I know that we um, have talked about having like a small, an amphitheater for like acoustic mm -hmm. performances or jazz. Mm -hmm. Like how cool yeah. would it be if we had some sort of like fetch a date event where pet lovers can come to the rescue and maybe find their forever friend. Oh, yeah. yeah. Find their the love of their life. How That's fun would brilliant. that be? We'll have to do that. I, love I would that. love that. That would be great. Mm -hmm. right. Well, great you idea. can you can keep up with our progress as Grateful Rescue is already helping so many pets, and will help so many more as we break ground and uh, really become such an amazing sanctuary here in the Midwest. Thank you to everybody who donated tonight. Thank you guys. Thank you and so much. Thank you again, Cheryl, Joanna, Pamela, Jason. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Uh, we hope to see you next week for Book Nook here with Grateful Rescue. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you Have so much. Thank you. Bye.